What's up guys? Today we're going to be making a really cool art project using the all new Toothic product by Angelus Brand. This is going to give us the ability to make some awesome 3D art, so let's get started. First things first, let's unwrap our canvas for painting. The next thing I'm going to do is paint the canvas regularly using a pastel purple. My biggest piece of advice when mixing is to start out with a bit of white first and slowly add in drops of your color. This ensures that you're starting out light and can darken if needed. Now that I have my color mixture, I'm going to apply about four to five coats or until the canvas is fully opaque. It's always fun prepping a blank canvas and seeing it come to life with color. I like to add paint to the sides of the canvas as well just to make it look more aesthetically pleasing. For the next step, we're going to be adding Too Thick to our paint mixtures. So what is Too Thick exactly? Too Thick is a paint additive that will thicken acrylic paints to your desired thickness. Thickness in paints is great because it allows you to add texture to your artwork. The best part about this is that you can add Too Thick in different amounts to create more of a smooth or chunky finish. I have three containers of paint paint here that I'll be adding different amounts of additive to. Once the paint is mixed thoroughly, we can take a look at how the amount of additive affects each paint mixture. About 2% will give you more of a smooth finish. 10% will give you a thickened finish that looks a bit like ice cream. 20% will give you more of a chunky finish and is great for those 3D textured effects. It's important to note that the paint will stay flexible on its surface if too thick is added in the correct ratio to paint. If too much too thick is added, it'll create a cottage cheese type mixture that will weaken its ability to stay flexible after application. For my artwork, I'm going to be adding in about 10% too thick for that smooth textured finish. I also pre-mixed a few other colors needed beforehand that I'll be adding the same amount of too thick to. All right, colors are ready to go. Now we'll need to create our 3D petals using a tool called a palette knife. I have about three different sizes that will allow me to create different sized flowers. This technique is super fun and easy. All we need to do is grab a glob of our paint on the back of the palette knife, bring it to our canvas, and press down with medium pressure. Then we're going to slide the palette knife down and away so we leave the sides of the petal raised while the middle appears lowered and smooth. This creates that 3D petal look without having to do any sculpting. To complete the flower, we're going to use the same technique to form a circle of petals. Feel free to rotate the canvas for a better angle when laying down the paint. I'm also keeping the center of the flower open to add in a different color later. One flower finished. As you can see, this gives us a great texture effect that pops off the surface of the canvas. I'm going to do one more white flower on the bottom of the canvas before adding in smaller flowers. I recommend doing one color at a time so you're not having to clean your palette knife repeatedly switching back and forth. You can also use your palette knife to create more of a spike tip at the end of each petal if it comes out a bit too round. You'll need to clean your palette knife in between colors to avoid getting any white mixed in with our petals. One great thing about Too Thick is it allows the colors to be more full than if you were adding on single layers. Since the paint is thickened, you'll only need one glob to achieve its fully opaque color. To finish off the flower portion, I'm going to be using different sized palette knives as well as different shades of purple to scatter petals around the canvas. We'll be using the same technique for our leaves. Grab a glob of your too thick paint mixture and apply medium pressure followed by a sliding motion. I'll be adding these little leaves in throughout all the empty spaces. Let's move on to a completely different yet effective technique using a pointed plastic bag that would normally be used to decorate cakes with fondant. Once we have our yellow color mixed and too thick added, we're gonna take that paste and add it to our plastic bag. Once you have a good amount in there, you'll just wanna grab some scissors and cut a small portion off the tip of the plastic. This technique is great because now we can disperse our paint in a controlled motion. I'll just be adding small globs side by side to create the look and texture effect of the middle of a daisy. I'll be adding this effect to all the flowers in the painting. Don't worry about this step being perfect. The beauty of texture projects is the less perfect, the better texture you'll achieve. So take your time and be sure to have fun with it. Once everything is set in place, you're gonna wanna let this air dry overnight. You don't need to use a heat gun since it'll dry best with time. When that's dried, you can go ahead and add a finishing coat of your choice. I I like the flat look on mine, so I'm going to go in with flat four coat and add about two layers to protect my painting. Mm -hmm. 